हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू आवर चैनल सिंप्लीफाइड कंप्यूटर साइंस कंसेप्ट्स ऑफ प्रोफेसर ऋतुजा टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग सेंट्रलाइज्ड डेडलॉक डिटेक्शन अल्गोरिदम दैट इज हो रामामूर्ति टू फेज अल्गोरिदम सो लेट अस स्टार्ट सो देयर आर थ्री डेडलॉक डिटेक्शन टाइप्स सो हाउ आर दे क्लासिफाइड सो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन हाउ द वेट फॉर ग्राफ इंफॉर्मेशन इज मेंटेन एंड सर्च for cycles and not is carried out based on these criteria the deadlock detection algorithms are further classified as centralized distributed and hierarchical today we will be learning centralized algorithms there are two centralized algorithms that we have we will be learning that is ho ramamurthy two phase algorithm and ho ramamurthy one phase algorithm in this video we will be focusing on ho ramamurthy two phase algorithm so the name itself suggest when we say two phase that means the algorithm works in two phase let us now see how what happens in phase 1 so there are multiple sites in distributed systems um uh, and these sites have multiple processes that are executing so this is site 2 and these are the processes that are executing on site 2 there is site n and there are again these processes that are executing on site n now each site will maintain their own status tables these status tables will have two fields that is process id and the status the process id is the process itself and the st status is nothing but to which uh process a resource has been assigned or for which resource a process has been waiting all this information is stored in this status tables same applies for site 2 and same same applies to all the sites in the distributed systems now when we say it is a centralized system that means a central system or a central node is in existence which will coordinate all the activities among this sites centrally so there is a control site which is also called as a designated site it will first request the status tables periodically from the sites in the network so these sites once it receives this message from the control site that uh, send the status table they will reply the status tables to the control site this control site in turn will form a wait for graph from the status tables that they have received and it will check for a cycle or not if cycle is not there then there is no deadlock but if cycle is there then there is deadlock this is what happens in phase 1 now there is phase 2 also so let us see what happens in phase 2 now in phase 2 the control site once more or once again requests for the status tables from all the sites in the network so it it is requesting the sites and the sites in turn send the status uh, tables to the control site the control site again forms a wait for graph and again checks for the cycle if cycle is there then the deadlock is detected otherwise not so what does the control site do here the control site will now look at the old status tables and the new status tables and it will compare it and based on that whichever common processes are there the wait for graph for that common processes is drawn or is um, corresponding wait for graph is drawn for from uh, by the control site and the control site will now check this wait for graph for the cycle if it is a cycle then deadlock is detected if no cycle then no deadlock then there might be a question that must be coming into your mind that why there is need of two consecutive reports by there are two phases actually so the answer is to get the consistent view of the system so what is mean by consistent consistent is the correct view or the right view of the system then if deadlock exists there could be same wait for condition in both the rate, both the reports that have generated old report as well as the new reports a cycle in wait for condition common to both reports does not imply deadlock and therefore these two phase algorithms report false deadlock or phantom deadlock so 
by getting two consecutive repos it just reduces the probability of getting inconsistent view however does not eliminate such possibility so a question might again come to your mind what is false deadlock or what is de phantom deadlock so see this is system a it has two processes and one resource s and this is system b which has one process p2 and two resources r and t so here p1 releases resource s and requests for resource t two messages are sent to the control site first is of releasing s and the other one is of requesting t but here before first message is sent to the control site the second message which is of waiting for t arrives at the control site and this is how the wait for graph is generated and this wait for graph forms a loop when it is or it is a cycle so if it is a cycle then deadlock is detected but ideally deadlock is not there because p1 has already released s so this there is no arrow over here so this does not form a cycle and that is why there is no deadlock but due to the delayed message receiving that is the second message arrived first it forms a cycle and it is a it is shown as a deadlock which is a false deadlock or a phantom deadlock so this is the issue that is been faced in ho ramamurthy two phase algorithm i hope you have understood the concept thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe to the channel if you have any doubts please post in the comment box thank you for watching